Okay. Um, radioactive can be used for radioactive dating. Uh, what is radioactive dating? That means a method to determine the age of an artifact. Uh, yeah, if you yeah, if you found an artifact, uh, yeah, so you can use this radioactive dating to see how old. Yeah, how old is this artifact? Uh, to see, you know, uh, the age. Uh, that means how old. How old if an artifact lah? Uh, how old is the 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 mysterious artifact you found in your basement? Yeah, like that. Yeah. So, how old is the artifact? The age of artifact based on decay rate and half life. Yeah, decay rate is what is decay rate? Decay rate is DNDT lah. Ah, uh, yeah, DNDT. Ah, uh, DNDT or is activity. Ah, uh, yeah. Decay rate means the uh, DNDT or activity. Uh, half life. Yeah? Half life is of course the half life lah. Yeah, every half life, uh, passing every half life, the decay rate become half of half of the original value. Yeah, become half of original value. The amount of um, uh, radiative nuclei also decrease into half. Understand? Uh, that's half life. And then half life of carbon fourteen is uh five thousand six hundred years. Okay, be careful with the unit. It's in years. Uh, years. Okay. So this is the half life. Okay. This is the half life. Uh, and then ten gram of carbon sample from a live tree. Uh, this is a live tree. Give a decay rate of 500 per hour. Oh, this is per hour. And then uh, 10 gram also sample from artifact. Uh, this is the artifact. Uh, give the decay rate of 100 per hour. Also the unit per hour. So find the age of the artifact. Uh, so age is the time taken. Lah. So what is the final time taken? Yeah, final time taken. So what I can say is um, this one of course use this uh, you know uh, decay rate. What is decay rate over here is the entity lah or activity. Uh, yeah, this decay rate is the activity or we can say uh, or we can just say it is the entity. Yeah, it is the activity or the entity. Yeah, same goes to this one. This one is the activity or you can say this as dndt lah uh, okay but the thing is what's the difference between this activity 500 per hour with this 100 per hour what's the difference uh, diff this one 500 per hour is from a live tree uh, so this one should be the initial this one is at, at the initial second before decay uh, live tree this one is like live tree is like before decay understand before decay, before decay at zero second. Uh, so what I can say this one five hundred per hour is actually the initial, initial activity when it is still live. The tree is still live before decay. Uh, or DNDT zero. Understand? The initial decay rate. Uh, this is the decay rate. Initial decay rate. And then artifact is uh, now. You know. The, the things which is now, uh, now, yeah, after, after decay, the tree, uh, or you can say, uh, now the tree after decay for some time, lah, for a long time, uh, the artifact, uh, the tree after decay already. Uh, so this is the now, so which is the uh, the way I can say is the the time uh, yeah? the time now uh, the uh, it is the at fin the final lah, uh, at the final time yeah the final time uh, so this decay rate uh, this decay rate is at uh, at time t lah. Uh, this one is activity at time t uh, which we want to find understand uh, this the after some time uh, decay rate after some time so can you do this question very simple so about this 10 gram you can ignore unless it give you different gram uh, unless this one give you 10 gram this one use 
20 gram uh, then you have to calculate the number of mole and so on yeah number of mole and so on but uh, i don't think the questions will be troublesome yeah if you do the technique also you take exactly the same uh you know same amount of sample if you want to do comparison isn't it you want to do comparison between light tree and artifact of course you use the same amount of same amount of sample uh, then only you can compare their decay rate uh, you impossible to use different amount of sample to do comparison okay usually use the same amount of sample to do comparison to show the difference in their decay rate okay so about this 10 gram you can ignore yeah just ignore them uh, yeah this 10 gram just ignore yeah uh, we just compare the just compare the uh, decay rate just compare decay uh, rate uh, which is the uh, dndt or we, or you can say it's the activity yeah just compare the decay rate uh, just ignore the 10 gram yeah it's nothing to do so okay um i can use this formula you know uh, this formula a equal to a naught exponent negative lambda t uh, use that formula write it down a equal to a naught exponent negative lambda t uh, okay so let's do it yeah so uh, okay i have the uh 500 per hour okay uh what i can say is they have the same unit uh you don't have to change all to si unit uh this one in years per hour so you can actually uh maintain as same unit you can main put this as per hour uh, this one is uh, per hour uh, this one also decay per hour uh, because they they can have the same unit uh, can cancel isn't it and then uh, about the time taken also time taken he said it give you the half-life in years uh, so if you give you half-life that means you can find the lambda also once you have half-life means you have lambda uh, so lambda is uh, long 2 over half life long 2 over half life so he give you already the half life is in years uh, 5600 years a year so that means your your your, your half life is in year so your your yeah you know your lambda is per year uh, your lambda is per year so that means uh, your lambda now is per year and then your time taken uh, the age will be also in year ah and this per year and year they can cancel off uh, because index number index number index number their unit cancel off and then a with a not cancel off the unit understand uh, but of uh, that's how how we do it lah okay so i can maintain this one i no need to change to si unit lah yeah si unit not a must uh, for this question si unit not a must uh, si unit not a must huh? si unit not a must remember that okay uh si unit not a must okay uh so uh, but you must write down the unit uh, when you substitute the value uh? Uh, so activity final activity is 100 per hour so write it down 100 decay 100 decay per hour uh, 100 decay per hour you must write down the unit uh, together with the value uh? write down the unit together with the value and then initial activity is 500 decay per hour uh, write down the unit with value uh, okay and then exponent negative uh, lambda what's your lambda my lambda is long to over 5600 year uh, 5600 year so uh, okay uh, so uh, okay wait, wait, let me um okay uh okay long two over five thousand six hundred year 
5,600 year. That's right. Uh, and then find my time. My time will be also in year. Okay. My time, my time will also be in year. Uh, okay. So, okay. Let's calculate. So, uh, 100 divided by uh, 500 is uh, 100 divided by 500 is 0 0.2 uh, this one you get 0 0.2 go to exponent uh, negative uh, ln 2 over no need to calculate the value of lambda first just leave it as fraction you understand just leave it as fraction form uh, okay so and then ln both side ln both side uh, when I ln both side this whole thing at the top will go below, yeah? Will go below. Go to the side, huh? go to the side. So it become a uh, negative. Don't uh, be, uh, remember the negative, ah. Uh, have a negative, ah. Uh, don't ignore. Don't suddenly disappear the negative, ah. Uh. Uh, Long two over five thousand six hundred year. Uh, T. And then here is ln E. Ah, uh, ln epsilon, ln epsilon. Okay, uh, this one go to the side already. Uh, yeah, when long both side, this whole thing at the top go to the side. Uh, and then long E, long E is equal to 1. Uh, and then I can calculate already my time. Okay, what is long 0 0.2? Long 0 0.2 is... Uh, okay, uh, okay, so what's my time? Uh, what's my time? Just... Uh, just calculate, yeah. Just calculate uh, my lawn 0 0.2. My lawn 0 0.2. Okay, I got lawn 0 0.2. And then multiply by multiply by negative. I uh, have negative, ah, uh, negative 5600 year. Okay, uh, 5600 year. Divide by lawn 2. Divide by lawn 2. Divide by lawn 2. Uh, and I got. Yeah, my time taken is this. So I got 1,003, uh, no, no, 13,000. Uh, or I can write as um, 1.1.300, uh, exponent 3, exponent 4, exponent 4. Exponent four years. Ah, it had the same unit, yeah. Because your lambda is per year. Your lambda, your lambda is per year. So my time is year. My time is year. Okay, years. Ah, years. Okay, that's my answer. Ah, that's my answer. Wow. After oh, this is almost like I can say it's like um. It's actually uh one three zero zero two point uh, seven nine seven years. Wow, that's very very long time. Yeah, for the artifact, the artifact already thirteen thousand years. Okay, the artifact already thirteen thousand years old. Yeah, thirteen thousand years old. So, wow, live that long to see that artifact. Yeah. Okay, so that's all for this question. I hope you understand. And um, yeah, very um, very interesting questions. So be, uh, be careful with your unit. You can maintain the same unit hour per hour and the year. No need to change your SI unit. Yeah, so that your working will become uh, simpler. Okay, working becomes simpler. You only have to change to SI unit when you use this these equations. Uh, when you use these equations, uh, dn dt equal to negative lambda n uh, this one the dn dt must be per second your lambda is also per second uh, this one must be same unit okay uh, again just maybe I just on the right over here if you use the formula dn dt uh, equal to negative lambda n or a equal to negative lambda n uh, this one need to be in Per second because your lambda is per second ah uh, okay and the, the unit can be cancelled or uh, yeah this one you must change to uh, this one 
uh, SI unit is a this one SI unit is a uh, is a mass uh, SI unit is a mass for this one is a mass okay uh, you cannot you cannot put this as you cannot uh, you cannot put this as activity is per hour activity per hour and then lambda in per year yeah like the question yeah uh, your your lambda your lambda is per year your activity is per hour cannot ah uh, cannot you cannot uh, they cannot be cancelled off ah uh, yeah uh, this lambda you cannot put it as per year activity cannot be per hour yeah they are not tally not tally uh, you must change all to SI unit lambda per second activity also per second for this question uh, for this equation uh, uh, for this equation but for this one SI unit is not a mass okay uh, so that's all for this question lah. I hope you uh, get it and if you like my channel uh, please subscribe and uh, you can share it to your uh, friends your 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 future brother we go coming to the matrix form six friends all right whatever yeah so okay thank you for watching bye